Hi everyone! Welcome back to my channel. My name is Rachel, which is the R in the RK Stumbling Bear, and I am a reader and a writer. And today I am here to do a book review for Fugitive Telemetry by Martha Wells. This is the newest novella in the Murderbot series, and I was very excited. I got caught up on the Murderbot series last year, and I've been very excited to just pick up every new story that I can. Something that is interesting is if you're looking at the actual timeline of events, this story happens before the novel Network Effect. And we know this because it's actually referenced in the novel. I remember reading about it and they talked about a murder on the preservation station. And I remember stopping and going, wait, I don't remember that story. But I continued onwards just because I'm like, okay, maybe I'm not remembering everything. And then this book came out and I'm like, I really hadn't seen it yet. So I think this novella you can read before or after Network Effect. It doesn't influence the novel at all, but it does give us another view of how Murderbot relates to the people in preservation. So in the short novella, we pick up with Murderbot still working the security detail around Mensa, trying to make sure none of Grey Chris's agents get onto the station and attempt to assassinate Mensa. And the novella starts off with a murder, and Murderbot doesn't know if this is an agent of Grey Chris or not because Murderbot has agreed to certain stipulations while being on station. One of the things is security doesn't want Murderbot and all of their feeds, doesn't want them to be tapped into security or the port authority, and so really all they have access to are their private drones. So Mensa is trying to broker a working relationship between Murderbot and station security. And since they aren't sure who this murdered person is or how they were murdered, she requests that Murderbot work with station security. And Enda, the station security head, agrees. But Murderbot is not the biggest fan of Enda. Murderbot thinks that Enda has slacked on security and is not up to snuff, basically. Murderbot, in their own words, is an asshole to Enda, purposely trying to make things complicated or trying to drag their heels in different situations. But Murderbot, at the same time, wants to prove that Enda is not up to the task of doing their job correctly, so then will take steps to find information out without being directed to do so. And I just really enjoyed this story. I think out of all the Murderbot stories, this is my second favorite right now. I do want to say that I did figure out who was the one who committed the murder, but I didn't know how. Martha Wells had dropped their hints well enough that as I was reading the story, I was like, hmm, this is interesting behavior right here. Hmm, here we got a name drop. And so I figured, like I said, I figured out who the person was. But it was fun to get to see then how things happened. I like how Wells showed the differences between the people who live in preservation and how comfortable they are with robots, and then people who don't live in preservation and don't think of robots as sentient beings. Who are individuals. That balance was nice to still show that there's a universe out there and people are still working together and still coming into contact with one another and not everybody is going to have the same ideas or feelings. So one con to this story, again this story has no bearing on the rest of Murderbots. You can read this story or not before you read Network Effect. It's more of like an easter egg in Network Effect because if you've read it beforehand, then you know what it's referencing. If you haven't, you're not actually messing out. So since the story doesn't actually progress the further timeline, that can be seen as a con for this story. I know some people feel like they don't get enough time in novellas with the characters. I feel like Martha Wells does a really good balance of writing a vignette stories. This is something that has happened at this specific time, and we don't get any further context except what is needed for the story. I hope we do have more Murderbot stories coming down the line because I am enjoying Murderbot very much. 
If you have read this, please let me know your thoughts. I'd love to get to discuss this more. Like I said, I really enjoy these murder bot stories. Thank you and have a good day.